Customs is a national administrative body in charge of the clearance of import and export cargoes. They have attracted greater attention as more people and goods cross borders. International trade requires declarations and inspections for imported or exported cargo and the payment of taxes. Customs agencies act as intermediaries with foreign countries to levy customs duties, clear imports and exports, and prevent the smuggling of illicit drugs, guns, and items infringing upon intellectual property rights. the appropriate collection of taxes, ensuring a safe and secure society, and trade facilitation. These are the three missions of customs. Customs duties have long contributed to national treasuries. In Japan, an advocate of free trade, customs duties account for a shrinking share of government revenues. However, in developing countries, customs duties still contribute a large proportion of government revenues. Appropriate collection of taxes is one of the important missions of customs. Another important role of customs is ensuring a safe and secure society by preventing the smuggling of cargo that is prohibited for import such as illicit drugs, guns, and counterfeit currency. Also important are security measures against weapons of mass destruction and terrorism-related materials. Meanwhile, efforts to facilitate trade have gained greater significance in recent years. Trade facilitation simplifies customs, trade control, food sanitation, and other trade procedures. It speeds up the movement of goods and lowers trade-related costs. This work contributes directly to the advancement of developing countries. With the greater movement of people and goods accompanying economic development and globalization, customs operations must implement policies while striking a balance between two opposing objectives, not inhibiting smooth trade while keeping the public and the economy safe. Under these circumstances, the modernization of customs in developing countries not only builds connections between countries through facilitated trade and creates better business environments, but also properly collects tax and ensures social safety and security through border control improvement. JICA enlists the help of Japan Customs to send Japanese experts for technical cooperation and provides grants to assist with equipment and electronic system development. JICA has provided cooperation in customs for many years in Southeast Asia and Africa. Southeast Asia is a major trading partner for Japan. Many Japanese companies operate in the region. It also holds an important place in the Asian supply chain. The ASEAN Economic Community, or AEC, was established in 2015. Comprising the 10 states within the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, the AEC is a framework that abolishes customs duties within the region and works to liberalize services and investments. Under this regional framework,
there is a need for digitalizing countries' trade procedures, such as customs and licensing procedures. At the same time, the development of a national single window, or NSW, is necessary to handle all the digitalized procedures at one place. Furthermore, the ASEAN single window is intended as a hub connecting the national single window of each country in ASEAN. For many years, JICA has assisted with customs according to the circumstances and needs of each ASEAN country. One example of these efforts is in Myanmar. After the transition to civilian rule in 2011, progress in democratization and economic reforms, along with the lifting of EU and US economic sanctions, have encouraged foreign investment and stimulated the economy in Myanmar. Meanwhile, the government had not simplified and streamlined customs clearance procedures during the many years of economic sanctions and restricted trade. Those procedures were unable to cope with the massive increase in trade volume of recent years. In order to collect duties appropriately and ensure a safe and secure society, it is essential to practice selection and concentration based on risk management. Customs officers must use risk management for the efficient selection of goods for inspection. For example, they can focus their checks and examinations on physical inspections of declarations associated with a high risk of smuggling or tax evasion. Meanwhile, simplified checks are carried out for declarations associated with little risk. In the past, customs officers in Myanmar conducted document examinations and or physical inspections of all goods, regardless of their risk level. Therefore, there was a limit to how quickly customs officers could process documents for declaration. Furthermore, as an ASEAN member state, Myanmar was obliged to create a national single window. The government therefore needed to digitalize customs procedures. Myanmar Customs asked the Japanese government for support in developing an electronic customs clearance system that uses risk management to process selections. Also requested was assistance for raising customs administration, particularly customs clearance procedures, up to the global standard. Working with Japan Customs, JICA began assisting Myanmar Customs in 2014. Based on the NAC's customs procedure system used in Japan, an electronic customs clearance system for Myanmar was developed, MAX. The system began operating in the Yangon Tilawa area at the heart of Myanmar's economy. In June 2018, it was also rolled out in Myawadi on the Thai border. ဒီမက္စနေကိုမြန်မာနိုင်ငံမှာစတင်ကျင်းသုံးပြီးတဲ့နောက်ပိုင်းပေါ့เนาะတကယ်ရလာတဲ့ရလာကတော့အဲကျ
Since the assistance commenced in 2014, they have been visiting Myanmar about once a month to help train the personnel at Myanmar Customs. As a result of bringing customs procedures up to the global standard, the official assessment system, in which customs officers determine the duties, was replaced by the self-assessment system, in which importers themselves declare the duties. In line with the introduction of this system, a post-clearance audit system was also introduced with Japanese assistance. This system confirms whether tax declaration was conducted properly by an importer. By shortening the time spent for duty-related checks during customs clearance and making a detailed confirmation instead at the post-clearance stage, the post-clearance audit system enables swift customs clearance while ensuring that appropriate duties are levied. Myanmar Customs is preparing to implement policies based on the WTO Trade Facilitation Agreement that came into effect in February 2017. JICA long-term experts stationed in the country are also providing information and advice and are leading the effort to offer proactive assistance. やはり ま、VNAX, the Electronic Customs Clearance System for Vietnam, was introduced in 2014, ahead of Myanmar's MAX. The shortening of customs clearance times was verified in a World Bank ranking of business environments. The hope is that the efforts currently underway in Myanmar will succeed and bring about results such as expedited customs clearance procedures and the modernization of overall customs operations. JICA has been dispatching customs experts to Malaysia since the 1990s. They have been providing a wide range of cooperation in accordance with the country's changing needs. One of those efforts is a project on rules of origin, Many countries around the world have concluded free trade agreements or bilateral or multilateral economic partnership agreements. Duties imposed on importers are lower than the normal rate when goods are imported through an EPA or FDA. However, to benefit from such lowered duty rates, goods must have a place of origin that fulfills specified conditions. Customs officers in the importing country must confirm whether the goods are eligible items. Rules of origin determine criteria for recognition as goods from eligible countries. They also determine the procedures for the application of reduced customs duties. For example, let's say signatory A of a trade agreement is exporting goods to signatory B, but those goods were processed using raw materials from a third country. There must be rules in place to determine what kind of processing in signatory A 
makes the goods eligible for the application of lower duties. Predetermining rules for the application of reduced customs duties when a non-signatory country is involved in a product's manufacture makes it possible for the parties to the agreement to enjoy the benefits stipulated by the agreement. JICA implemented a project to assist Malaysia Customs in the preparation of regulations and guidelines related to rules of origin and in human resource development. マレーシア税関にある研修所こちらの方で原産地規則のコースというのを解説するための支援を行いましたそうすることによってですね今では私のカウンターパートだった人たちが全国の税関に行きましてそこでですねあの研修を行ってマレーシア国内の原産地規則の,その能力の維持であるとかまた新たな専門家の育成に役立っています。これがまああのマレーシアのプロジェクトの大きな成果だと思っております。JICA's Customs Cooperation in Southeast Asia includes basics such as customs classification and valuation based on international rules, advanced support such as the introduction of risk management systems, and electronic customs clearance systems, as well as enhancement of the management of rules of origin. And the establishment of capacity building systems that cut across wide ranging issues. The cooperation is carried out according to the needs of each country. JICA is also working to facilitate smoother procedures at national borders in Africa. After the TCAD 4 summit in 2008, JICA has carried out activities in Africa for the whole continent and individual regions in collaboration with Japan Customs and the World Customs Organization or WCO, which is an international organization. This work comes in various forms. It includes tangible assistance, such as developing wide area infrastructure across borders, and intangible assistance, like professional development and institution building. One important part of this work is assistance toward corridor development that connect regions. The focus has been on facilitating trade to encourage distribution along such corridors. The African Union's Agenda 2063 for Pan African Development advocates further regional integration in Africa. As steps, the agenda calls for processes such as the establishment of customs unions and currency unions. In response, JICA is advancing customs related assistance for drafting common intra regional rules and facilitating smooth procedures. One Stop Border Post, or OSBP, is one such initiative for the promotion of smoother border procedures. Africa has many landlocked countries. Distribution used to be time consuming because of inadequate infrastructure and different institutional procedures. For example, two stop border stops require immigration checks, customs, and other procedures to be carried out twice while exiting one country and again when entering another. With different inspections being carried out by either border facility, it was a highly inefficient process. Two or three days could be required to cross a border. JICA responded with the one stop border post. OSBPs harmonize procedures between the organizations concerned within a region, simplifying the flow of customs procedures at borders. OSBP's use of IT solutions enables procedures to be carried out in one stop, thus, achieving a radical streamlining and acceleration of border crossing procedures. One 
ンストップって、まあ、2か国が共同してあの同じとこであの検査をして共同して、えー、通関をすることで、まあ、より貿易がスムースに。いけることで、えー、まあ、貿易量の増大ですとか、通関時間が短縮されて、まあ、商品のコストが安くなって、あのこちらの経済のあの活性化につながるのではないかと思っています。Reports indicate that the OSBP on the border between Kenya and Tanzania has significantly shortened the time required to process trucks, thereby lowering transport costs. An increase in transport and trade is expected to further increase the economic impact of the OSBP. So, if we go to the market, we will 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 go to the m a The project has brought together all border agencies in one building. So, Exchanging of information has been too much easier.、Uh, cooperation between agencies, cooperation between uh, uh, border agencies of the two countries, Tanzania and Kenya, has become more easier compared to the previous one. Coming up of the OSPB, in my opinion, has made the processes quite efficient, time saving, and cost effective for the trader. And that is how we see the impact in spurring the economic growth of the region. The adoption of OSBPs requires countries involved to share the same purpose and concept. The OSBP source book was written to explain the outline. For many years, JICA has coordinated with Japan Customs to upgrade the skills of customs personnel in Eastern Africa. In addition to capacity building for master trainers, who will in turn nurture trainers in each field, a system has been built to further promote the modernization of customs in their respective countries. They train the stakeholders. So that we can work together to enhance the operations at the OSBP. So, on that area, we are able to pick out the areas that require improvement. Additionally, in 2016, JICA and the WCO began comprehensive cooperation to modernize customs in Africa and facilitate trade. WCO personnel have promoted the training of personnel in Eastern Africa. Which is the target of projects, thereby accelerating activities. As a result, the nurturing of master trainers in the field of customs has made steady progress. To date, more than 90 master trainers have been trained. Meanwhile, Many have become certified experts by passing a difficult WCO examination, which sets the global standard. Trainers in various fields are being nurtured. This seminar is on methods for cracking down on illicit goods, such as guns and illegal drugs, by appropriate analysis for identifying high risk cargo during import or export. Japanese experts and African participants work as a team in these seminars. The importance of the master trainer program is the capacity that has been developed within the member administrations so that the master trainers themselves can then train. Their fellow customs officials. 
Since 2018, JICA has worked with the WCO to dispatch these trainers to Southern and Western Africa to nurture trainers in each of those regions. In response to recent threats of terrorism, assistance continues for crackdowns on illicit goods, as well as for border security. In Eastern Africa, JICA is sharing with countries in the region the experiences of Japan Customs and the WCO to improve risk management skills and enhance border operations. The latest border control equipment is also being donated. その by providing assistance through OSBPs, capacity development for customs trainers and enhancing border control, JICA seeks further regional development in Africa. Customs agencies around the world have been upgrading their procedures and processing methods in line with the changing environment. However, the three basic missions of these efforts remain. The appropriate collection of taxes, ensuring a safe and secure society, and trade facilitation. To achieve these objectives, national customs agencies are addressing a variety of issues every day. The capacity building of human resources is essential for implementation of these initiatives. High quality human resources serve as the foundation of everything. JICA therefore invites customs officers from developing countries to Japan for training. In cooperation with Japan Customs, JICA training centers coordinate with regional customs authorities and share expertise and skills with customs officers from developing countries. Cette formation de contrôle à sur le contrôle à posteriori nous a permis de d'avoir une connaissance théorique Nous avons beaucoup de support, des exercices pratiques, des visites à l'entreprise et au sein des douanes du Japon. En tout cas, je voudrais dire merci à la JICA au Japon. Le développement de la JICA est un développement de la SDGs. Il y a des gens qui ont été développés et développés et qui ont été 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 développés. 例えば経済連携協定の進展、あるいはタイテロ対策の強化といった課題に常に向き合う必要があります。ジャイカは現場に深く入り込み、きめ細やかな支援を息の長い形で実施できることまたそれにより人材育成や制度改善につなげていけること